Hey guys, Casey Ferris. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos here on YouTube. Today we are talking about how to color grade faster in DaVinci Resolve using groups. This is a very, very powerful feature inside of Resolve and can allow you to get your project like 80% done in very little time. So first of all, let's take a look at what groups are. A group, as you may have guessed, is just a group of shots that has a common correction. So if I were gonna group these five shots right here, I could right click and say, add into new group, and I'll call this the best group, because it's the best one. And now you'll see there's a little green chain link down here by the codec. That means that these shots are all in a group. And if I have multiple groups, then it will select just the ones that are in that group. So these two are linked together, and if I click on this other group, I can see all these five are linked together. So if you have a shot selected within the group, it will tell you all the ones that are linked to it. So how do groups work? If I were to select any of these shots and mess with them, make them standard horrific pink, you'd notice that it just changes this shot and not the other shots. At this point, you might be saying, what gives? I thought these were in a group. What the heck? Why did, why did I even group these? That's because even if clips are in a group, by default, if you select a clip and mess with the colors, it's just changing the settings for that clip. And you can control that up here where it says clip under open effects at the top of the node graph. If you click on this, there's a little pull down menu. And if you're on a group, it has four things. If you're not on a group, it just has two. So with a clip within the group selected, if I go up to clip here, I can select group pre-clip, clip, group post-clip, or timeline. Clip is the normal way of operating. Pre-clip is a set of corrections that happens before the nodes in the clip. So if I were to make this pink in the pre-clip, and then in the clip nodes, take down my saturation, it would end up being black and white because these flow into each other. Pre-clip is before the clip, and then clip, and then as you may have guessed, post-clip is after the clip. And so if I were to make this green, it would turn everything green. And we even have a layer on top of that called the timeline. If I were to add a node here and connect it up, and push everything towards blue, then everything in that clip would look blue, but also everything in the timeline would look blue. And if I right click and say update all thumbnails, we can see everything is blue. That's because anything applied in the timeline node graph applies to the whole timeline. So I'll reset my timeline nodes, update my thumbnails, and go back to my group post clip, reset that, go back to my clip, reset that, go back to my pre clip and reset that. So there's four layers of controls here that you have and all of them work just like nodes normally work. You're just controlling different amounts of clips. So the advantage here is you can put a common correction over your whole group by going to group post clip. So I can put a certain look in my group post clip and all of the clips in that group will get that look applied over them. And what's really cool is if I switch to my clip nodes, I can go through and adjust each clip individually without messing with the entire group. Let's say I want to brighten up this shot a little bit in the gamma. I can do that without messing with the rest of the shots in the group. And so I have some individual control while keeping the overall look that's common to the group. So that's pretty much how I use that quite a bit, is I'll do a common correction in group post clip and do some tweaks within the clip node graph. This is the same type of thinking as making two nodes and doing a look in the second node and then tweaking things under it. It's the same thing, it's just that this part is in the group nodes and this is in the clip nodes. In fact, if I were to select this clip, right click and go up to collapse group grades, that would bring all of my group nodes into my clip nodes. So here is, so here is pre clip and post. So that's a really convenient way to remove something from the group and adjust that group look without having to copy a bunch of stuff over and remove it from the group and then copy the group grade into the clip grade and all that stuff. They've really improved the way that groups work in the last couple versions of Resolve and it's really, really slick. So let's delete all of our groups, reset everything, and let's look at a practical way to use this to speed up your color grades. I'm gonna go into lightbox mode so we can look at all of our shots. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna flag these clips that were shot on a drone and hide those so we're just working with these clips. Let's say I wanna quickly grade this movie and get it to a watchable point 
and I'm in a hurry. I can shift select all of these clips, right click and say add to new group, and we'll call this Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. That's what this was shot with. And now I can go to my group nodes and I can do a common correction to make most of these look pretty good. I could do this grade myself, but what I'm gonna do is use a LUT that's designed for BMD film, which is the gamma that that camera shoots on. And I'm gonna add a node before that to tweak it just a little bit. To get a good result. The LUT that I'm using, by the way, is available for free. It's the free Blackmagic BMD film to Rec 709 LUT. You can get that for free at groundcontrolcolor.com under free LUTs. We also have free LUTs available for BMD Film 4K, S-Log 2, Cinelike D, CineStyle, D-Log if you shoot with drones. So now in my group post clip, I have a basic starting point for all of my shots and I can switch back over to clip mode and then I can go through and tweak these how I like. And there's nothing wrong with doing it this way. This is actually a good way to work. And it also happens to be very fast. So if you're in a hurry, you can go through and at least make your project watchable so you can show a rough cut to your client and have a decent looking project for them to watch. Another easy thing is if I have a bunch of shots that are under the same lighting situation, like all of these shots are kind of in this dark dance floor area, I can shift select all of these and middle click that first shot where I did my tweaks and get a good starting point for my tweaks. There we have some nice looking shots. This shot is really dark and probably needs a lot more work and noise reduction and stuff, but for quickly looking at it, that should it'll be okay for now. And you can see it's pretty quick just going through the whole project. And here I've done a basic grade, not perfect, very quick, but very watchable colors throughout this whole project. And Here's before and here's after. And again, a lot of that speed was because of the work we did in the group post clip nodes. Because if I turn these off, you'll see there really isn't much done to each clip. Then of course, for your final grade, you want to go through and make sure these all match really well, do your secondaries and whatever amount of tweaking you have the time and budget for. Anyway, so there you go. There's a quick way to grade a whole project using groups inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more post-production, color grading, DaVinci Resolve tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. Thanks for watching.